Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, myself Professor Uday Bukhre and now I am welcoming you on your own YouTube channel Ikeda. Hope you are watching my videos regularly. If you are watching at all today first time, I request you please subscribe to our channel Ikeda and also press bell icon for your latest notifications. Friends, today we are going to learn for CA Inter course accountancy subject cash flow statement question number 9 which is on your screen. Let's read the question. From the following balance sheet of Mr. Zain, first time you can notice there is a proprietor given. Prepare a cash flow statement as per AS3. Okay, fine. For the year ended 31st of March 2000, X1. Zain's capital is given. Trade payable. Zain's, uh, miss, Mrs. Zain's loan, loan from bank. Fine. Land, plant and machinery inventories trade receivable and cash fine cash is the only cash and cash equivalent with them additional information machine costing 80,000 accumulated debris in there on was rupees 24,000 was sold for rupees 40,000 provision for depreciation on 1st April 2000 x 0 was 2 lakhs and 31st March 2000 x 1 was rupees 3 lakh 20,000 importantly ye aapko paragraph mein diya hai, means they want you to go for a gross that is ये जो आपको दिया है वो WD भी है आपको PFD method follow करना पड़ेगा because of this information net profit for the year is 3,60,000 fine net profit is credited to whose account proprietor's account तो मेरा entry क्या होता है PL account debit to proprietor's capital account so this we will use to find out Zenth का any other whether he has introduced the capital or he has withdrawn the capital that we will see we will prepare Zen's account for that purpose, but for us net profit is given 360, okay. So we will begin with our presentation. Friends, we have to begin with and now I have to begin with the cash flow from operating activities. Now for that purpose, I want you to take to the question again. This is the question of students. Here they have net profit ready made. दूसरी बात यहां पे बाकी का कोई डिटेल नहीं है डेटस के पास से कितना कैश मिला है कैश सेल्स कितना हुआ है दैट काइंड ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन इज नॉट अवेलेबल सो वी हैव टू फॉलो इनडायरेक्ट मेथड फॉर ऑपरेटिंग एक्टिविटी हियर दे गिव यू नेट प्रॉफिट सो नेट प्रॉफिट इज ओनली आवर स्टार्टिंग पॉइंट राइदर व्हाट विल बी एंट्री फॉर नेट प्रॉफिट पीएल अकाउंट डेबिट टू कैपिटल अकाउंट बिकॉज़ इट इज ऑलवेज ट्रांसफर टू कैपिटल अकाउंट सो अलोंग विद दैट आई विल प्रिपेयर अ कैपिटल अकाउंट आल्सो फ्रेंड्स वी आर रेडी विद द फॉर्मेट ऑफ Capital account now we will fill up the data. Opening capital 10 lakhs, closing capital 12 lakh 24,000. Here they gave you net profit, which is as per the question, net profit is 360, and we know that net profit is credited to the capital account. So our entry will be PL account debit to capital account. This net profit we will take as an operating activity starting point, and in operating activity, I will put it as an add amount because net profit. Hai. Importantly, while doing the question now, I will keep space sufficient for your respective activities. For all activities, I will keep that sufficient space. First activity is your operating activity. I will keep entire page for operating activity. Pura page me rakhunga operating activity ke liye. Yaha pe ab thik se dekho ge to there are so many transactions like a depreciation is there and all changes in the trade receivable etc. We have to adjust. So I think this page will be sufficient for that. So I will keep that page and on next page I will continue about 7-8 lines we may need maximum. So I will keep sufficient space and third activity. Now I will close my capital account because in capital account there is no other transaction. So I need to close my working note here. When I close capital account, I come to know that there is a difference on debit side which reduces the capital. That means owner has withdrawn some money. It is a drawing which I will credit to which account? Cash or bank account. It is our derivation. This is your drawing. This is your drawing. So, what do we do in this drawing? We will show you in the financing activity. Because for proprietary ship, capital is the financing activity. Fine. So we have completed that drawing part. 
नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट आई सजेस्ट यू गो विद द एडजस्टमेंट अगर आप एडजस्टमेंट देखोगे तो यहाँ पे देखो एडजस्टमेंट जो आपका जो है उसके अंदर उन्होंने कॉस्ट दिया हुआ है असेट बेचा है उसका डिप्रेम दिया हुआ है सोल फॉर सो एंड सो प्लस दे ऑल्सो गिव यू डिप्रेम प्रोविजन अकाउंट बैलेंस ओपनिंग एंड क्लोजिंग बोथ सो आई वॉन्ट टू प्रिपेयर डिप्रेम प्रोविजन अकाउंट फॉर प्लांट एंड मशीनरी एज वेल एज प्लांट एंड मशीन अकाउंट बिकॉज हियर दे आर फॉलोइंग पी एफ डी मेथड फॉर दैट We are preparing provision for depreciation account for plant and machinery because land is not subject to depreciation as we know. Opening balance of PFD on one four two thousand eight zero was two lakhs. Two balance carried down. Closing balance they gave you. उन्होंने closing balance आपको ये दिया है three lakh twenty thousand on thirty first March X one. Obviously, when you maintain PFD account, your asset will be kept at original cost, not at W W D V. So let us prepare. This account will be kept at a original cost. Now, if you look at the data, plant and machinery opening balance is given six forty. But you do you see here any PFD account in the balance sheet? No. That means these are the W D Vs. to get the original cost i will add back pfd on that date respectively 640 will be added with 2 lakhs i will get the original cost 840 by balance carried down in the similar manner i will find out closing balance of plant and machinery they give you 4 lakh 40000 which is wdv it will be added with pfd This is seven sixty. I hope you have understood. PFD is given. Asset will be kept at a original cost. आपको balance sheet में WD भी दिया था. लेकिन मैंने original cost derive किया because in this kind of example it is better to prepare provision for depreciation account and plant and machinery account. Both accounts, not WD भी. Okay. Now let's read the information. They mentioned machine costing eighty thousand. Accumulated depreciation thereon being twenty four thousand. वॉज सोल फॉर रुपीज फोर्टी थाउजेंड आराम से ओरिजिनल कॉस्ट कितना था एटी थाउजेंड इसके ऊपर डिप्रीसिएशन कितना प्रोवाइड किया था अभी तक ट्वेंटी फोर थाउजेंड तो हियर वी विल ओपन वन मोर अकाउंट सेल ऑफ मशीन अकाउंट वेन एवर असेट इज सोल्ड उसका ओरिजिनल कॉस्ट इधर से सेल ऑफ मशीन अकाउंट में जाएगा पी एफ डी भी उधर जाएगा एंड देन ओनली वील सेल द असेट आराम से देखते हैं दे हैव क्लियरली मैंशन मशीनरी कॉस्टिंग एटी थाउजेंड वॉज सोल्ड so cost is 80000 firstly it is removed from plant and machinery account and it is placed to sale of machinery account sale of machinery account is debited plant and machinery account it is original cost iske upar depreciation kitna provide kiya tha question mein diya hai question mein clearly bola hai iska depreciation jo hai wo 24000 hai पी एफ डी अकाउंट में से ट्रांसफर हो जाएगा सेल ऑफ मशीनरी अकाउंट में से सो एंट्री विल बी पी एफ डी अकाउंट डेबिट टू सेल ऑफ मशीनरी अकाउंट तो सेल ऑफ मशीन अकाउंट विल बी क्रेडिटेड बाय पी एफ डी अकाउंट Twenty four thousand. It is created with by PFD account twenty four thousand. So now, if I see this account, I can say that okay, there is a WDV of that asset is present here. That is fifty six thousand. You can notice WDV will be there. Now let us see for what value it was sold. They mentioned it is sold for rupees forty thousand. So what will be our entry? Cash or bank account debit to sale of machinery account. This was sold for rupees forty thousand. Cash comes in. Investing activity में आपको दिखाना पड़ेगा. If I close this account, I can see that eighty thousand का cost था जिसका recovery सिर्फ sixty four thousand हुआ है. तो obviously there is a profit a loss of the difference amount. Sixteen thousand is your difference. 
ये डिफरेंस आपने कौन से अकाउंट में डेबिट किया होगा स्टूडेंट्स पी एन एल ये आपका लॉस है ऑन सेल तो पी एल अकाउंट इज डेबिटेड इट इज नॉन ऑपरेटिंग आइटम विच इज डेबिटेड टू पी एन अकाउंट सो पी एन अकाउंट विल बी एडेड नाउ दैट इज नेट प्रॉफिट इज एडेड Here, firstly, before I proceed further, I will write adjustments for sixteen thousand. का आपका loss हुआ था, वो आपने यहाँ पे add किया. PL account में debit में किया था, तो इसके लिए उसको add किया so that ये non-operating item adjust हो जाए. There is no further additional information. So now I am very much okay to close my working notes. so pfd has increased so it is increased by debiting what pnl account depreciation jo pnl account mein debit kiya hai wo non cash activity hai to ye operating activity mein mujhe add back karna padega to get the cash flow to ye add ho jayega operating activity mein depreciation on plant and machinery वन लैख फोर्टी फोर थाउजेंड का डिप्रीसिएशन वी हैव क्लोज अवर पी एफ डी अकाउंट नाउ वी विल क्लोज अवर प्लांट एंड मशीनरी अकाउंट दिस अकाउंट इज क्लोज ऑन इट्स ओन सो देर इज नो चेंज इन दिस अकाउंट यहाँ पे कोई डिराइवेशन नहीं हुआ है दिस अकाउंट हैज गॉट क्लोज ऑन इट्स ओन Now we have completed all additional information. Now we will go with the balance sheet. Balance sheet में जो भी बचा हुआ amount है वो हम लोग consider करेंगे for our cash flow statement. Beginning with firstly capital uh, liability side, capital account we have already prepared and closed. Trade payable. Earlier it was three twenty. Now it is three fifty two. So there is an increase in trade payable. बराबर है. So here firstly let me find out operating profit. before changes in working capital file like 20000 thereafter we will do adjustment for changes in working capital working capital amount adjust kar raha hu main yahan pe trade payable 320 tha 352 ho gaya so increase in trade payable It increased by thirty-two thousand. That is three fifty-two minus three twenty. It is thirty-two thousand. It is added because there is an increase in current liability, which result in inflow of cash. Trade payable we have taken. Mrs. Z's loan earlier it was there. Now it is not there. That means we must have repaid repayment of Mrs. Z's loan. अगर इसको रीपे किया है तो कैश आउटफ्लो देर फॉर नेगेटिव एंड फाइनेंस एक्टिविटी बिकॉज वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द लोन देन यू कैन नोटिस देर इज अ लोन फ्रॉम बैंक अर्लियर इट वॉज थ्री ट्वेंटी नाउ इट इज फोर लैक कैन आई से आई हैव टेकन एडिशनल लोन सो लोन रेज फ्रॉम द बैंक इज योर फाइनेंस एक्टिविटी इट विल बी एडेड एटी थाउजेंड एडिशनल लोन रेज फ्रॉम द बैंक so we have completed this land 6 lakhs was there now it has 2880 that means we have purchased the land of 2 lakh 80000 investing activity mein likhna padega students or land khareeda matlab there is outflow of cash so negative plant and machinery we have already taken up Inventory that is stock. Earlier it was two eighty. Now it is two lakh. So there is a decrease in inventory. Addition करना पड़ेगा cash flow में. Which part? Working capital part. Decrease in inventory is eighty thousand. Addition because जब भी stock कम होता है तो cash में convert हो गया वो. 
trade receivable earlier it was 240 now it is 14 lakhs that means there is an increase in trade receivable One lakh sixty thousand. I have shown as a negative figure because increase in trade receivable means more cash block with them. So, ये मैंने negative लिख दिया. Cash is your part of cash and cash equivalent that we will write later on. Now we have completed almost every part of our question. सब कुछ cover कर दिया है मैंने. कुछ भी रह नहीं गया. Now it is time to close. There is a positive cash flow from operating activity. So I can say net cash generated in operating activity. ठीक है तो ये कैश जनरेट हो गया इधर मेरा स्पेस थोड़ा वेस्ट हुआ है तो फाइन चलेगा वी आर कंटिन्यूंग ऑन द नेक्स्ट पेज टू लैख फोर्टी थाउजेंड नेगेटिव इन योर इन्वेस्टिंग एक्टिविटी नेट कैश यूज्ड इन इन्वेस्टिंग एक्टिविटीज टू लैख फोर्टी थाउजेंड यहाँ पे भी थोड़ा लाइन वेस्ट हुआ है तो लेटेड भी कुछ फर्क नहीं पड़ता है Negative two lakh fifty six thousand. So here I will say net cash used in financing activity. So we got net result of all three activities. अब ये तीनों को हम लोग को क्या करना पड़ेगा? Add करना पड़ेगा. And after you add, you will get net increase or decrease in cash and cash equivalent. तो check करो student. First activity में आपका net cash generated था four seventy two thousand. Second activity में आपका net cash used था two lakh forty thousand. थर्ड एक्टिविटी में टू लैख फिफ्टी सिक्स थाउजेंड अगेन यूज नेगेटिव ट्वेंटी फोर थाउजेंड सिंस नेट फिगर इज नेगेटिव आई कैन से देर इज अट डिक्लाइन और डिक्रीज इन कैश एंड कैश इक्वेलेंट राइट सो देर इज अट डिक्रीज आई विल एड ओपनिंग बैलेंस ऑफ कैश एंड कैश इक्वेलेंट दे गिव यू ओनली कैश विच इज एटी थाउजेंड एट द बिगिनिंग So your closing balance of cash and cash equivalent will be fifty six thousand. Fifty six thousand. Now you can cross verify this fifty six thousand in your balance sheet. Question का balance sheet check करो students. Closing cash balance fifty six thousand है. So technically we have solved question correctly. And of course logically also we have solved question correctly. Still if you have any doubt my friends please put in your comment box. Thank you for watching the video. God bless you students.